On this video, we're going to talk about this Asus Brock. First thing that we have to do is remove all the screws that goes around. After removing the screws, we have to slide over the guitar plastic tool to start separating the cover from the laptop. We have to go around and slide it over. After sliding over, we should be able to leave the cover to be able to access all the components inside the laptop. This is the cover. We have now the battery, the fans, the heatsink, the SSD, the M2 SSD with well, plus Wi Fi card. We have the memory RAM, the speakers, the CPU, and the GPU. Let's take a little tour around the laptop. We see looking at the different ports like the power jack or DC jack, the USBs, and a closer look of the fans and the additional USB and the headphone jack, the battery right there, and where to put the SSD. Where it says hard drive, that little port right there is to be able to put the additional hard drive on the computer. Most of the time, ASUS send the cable inside the box. Just double check to see if in there. We have to slot for memory RAM. First thing that we have to do is to slide over the secure metal lock. And after that, we should be able to lift the connector from the battery. That right there is the SSD M2. We have to remove the a screw and slide it back. If we separate the, the thermal cover that they put, we should be able to see inside the specification of it. Below the SSD, we have the Wi-Fi card. We have to remove the this plastic cover to be able to see the other slot for the RAM. You have to lift it over. And there you have the memory RAM. It's like over the metal locks. And there you could see the specs there for the RAM. In here, I'm going to show you about how to upgrade to 32 gig. I bought, I bought this Corsair Bengens, 16 inch. So we're upgrading this laptop. After that, we are able to remove, if you want to remove the battery, you could remove the screws and you should be able to leave the battery. Don't forget to remove the connector. Once the screws are removed, you could lift it over. And make sure the little flex right there, you remove the tape from the speaker. You could see the battery closer. That's the cable that I was talking about, the SATA H hardware cable inside the box. To be able to put an additional hard drive on the laptop will be to remove the screws for the metal base. And after that, you could put the hard drive and put the four screws around the hard drive. Once we perform that, we could connect the little connector for the hard drive, the SATA cable. And the little connector goes to the motherboard. You have to leave the plastic, put the cable in or the connector in, and then um, lock it. 
after that you are able to remove the the cover for the glue to be able to to put the cable there so in that way you hold it doesn't move after that you could put the screw back in On that particular reason, you have to put the screw first because the connector does not allow you to, to put it in when it's connected. So put the connector back after putting the screws. If you want to change the SSD, you should be able to put the new one back in or put the same one in, just in case you need to change the Wi-Fi card below. The battery back in the way that goes and you should be able to put the tape from the connector from the speaker and now put the screws back in and now it's time to put back the connector from the battery you have to apply some pressure and slide the metal locker once you slide the metal locker, you could put the cover back on place, apply some pressure, go around it, you have to put the long screws where, where I put the signs at. And then the shorter screws, where they go. Now it's time to put all the screws back on place. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave it below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Excellent. Now. Thank you.